Hi readers, I'm Sherry Rita from Wilmette Public Library and I've just found some of the best fantasy books. You know sometimes when you're holed up at home too much you just you start to wish you could fly away to another world somewhere. That's why these books are such a great read this fall. So the first one, this one surprised me. It's called The Good Hawk by Joseph Elliott. Can you see that? It's available in a book form and also an audiobook on CD. And I picked this up because a friend said it was good, but I thought, eh, I'm not really into animal fiction. <sighs> Surprise! <laughs> this book is not really about animals at all. It's not about hawks. The main character, Agatha, is a hawk because it's her job to be a lookout against enemies that might arrive on the shores of their village, which is called Scotia. Uh, here's how she talks about it, about herself and about her world. When I was only young, I would go on the sea so much, she says. She says she climbed up on a wall when no one was looking. And then a bigger wave came, and I couldn't hold on, and I fell. I could have drowned, but one of the so hawks saw me and my arms splashing. You stupid, stupid girl, he said when he pulled me out. You stupid, stupid girl. I'm more clever now and wouldn't do it again. But then she says, I was very happy that day because they made me a hawk, which is my duty and an important one. Someday I will save someone from drowning too, like when the hawk saved me. You can tell Agatha's a little different than most people. Um, they don't really value her because of that until, well, one day some enemies do arrive and they kidnap most of the people who live there. And Agatha and her friend Jamie set out to rescue the people who've been taken from their shores. Now this adventure is not just rollicking, it's totally absorbing. You'll forget what century and what continent you live in and you'll be dying for the next one to show up, which is good because this is the first one in a series. So you can get in on the ground floor and you can read this one now. Another new fantasy series I found just started this year, but is already on its second book. This is the first one. It's called Twin Enchantment, and it's by Elise Allen. Uh, we got this one in February. The second one is called Untwisted, and I've seen that on the new book's display. Uh, this series begins when magic and um, other potentially magic, magical beings like twins are outlawed in the kingdom of Kaloon. So these royal twin sisters, Flissa and Sarah, have to pretend to be one princess and take turns being outdoors and being in the world. Then some dark magic puts their mom's life in danger. So they go on a quest to save her. In the second book, they return home and they establish an academy for magic in their kingdom and everything's going great until some troublemakers appear and start having some weird things happen. And Flissa and Sarah, well, they kind of have opposite interpretations of what's going on. So they can't solve the problem until they can learn to trust each other again. And the question is whether they'll be able to do that before it's too late. Whether this is the end of the series or whether things will continue to go. These books are both fantasy and friendship books at once. And if you've never wished you were a twin, you will wish you were a twin after reading these. They're, it's, they're really fun. And finally, there's this one-of-a-kind book called Earth Girl by Janet Edwards. Now this is about our world, but in the future, when people, a lot of people have moved to other planets. But some people, like Jenna, have turned out to be allergic to other worlds, and they have to stay on Earth in sort of a foster system. People think of them as handicapped because they can't leave Earth without getting really, really sick. And um, some people think that they're also, like, stupid, too. Earth Girl, that makes her really mad, and she decides to prove them wrong. So uh, th this book follows her on her path to one-up all the exos, the people from other planets. And the question is, can she do it? 
or will she get trapped in a web made of her own lies? Now, Earth Girl is available only in book form, but there is a sequel called Earth Star, and there is enough action in these books to leave you absolutely ready to stop, sit still, catch your breath, and be glad to be back on Earth in this time, even in this time. Because after all, for all its flaws, this time and this place are home. So if you get restless, try a little flight of fancy, okay? And happy reading. I'll see you next time.